Hi there, welcome back to Daddy Gamer. So I think this is the fourth video that I've done. And um, today we are going to once again dip into the world of Minecraft and Martin, who, age, who is age seven's drawing of the Statue of Liberty. And as we build the Statue of Liberty, we will learn a little bit about it. And this time you will see that I've honed my skills. I've improved, I've, I've got better, I've leveled up whatever you want to call it I have done it and now we are here just in the menu screen well we're just about to get into the menu screen because I'm never quite sure of um, but that's the nether I think that's a picture of the nether and that's always in the, one of the new updates all kinds of nether rack and different types of nether blocks right we'll get into the game we need to pick a really nice world I think I'll pick a nice flat world no bumps Nothing like that, we don't need any bumps. We'll go for, um, I'll try and find something that we uh, I set up a while ago so that we can just use that to create a nice plinth for the Statue of Liberty to sit on. And then I'll build up the Statue of Liberty, the folds in the skirt and the full body and their face, the head, and some of the spikes that stick out of the, the head. And also the Statue of Liberty is holding the torch. So we'll do that and we'll learn a bit about the Statue of Liberty as we go along. As this Minecraft is loading, this is a really boring part and we're diving now into the world. There's a pig. Let's go and, should we go and hunt the pig? No, I, we will not hunt the pig. Pigs deserve not to be hunted. So we will not hunt the pig. Instead, we will find the correct, sort of the colours. We're looking more for colours than structural design. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, everything in Minecraft strong. It defies gravity most of the time, so we'll find this dark prismarine, prismarine, and something else. Maybe um, green wool. Not sure about that. Cyan cow, cactus. Not really the right sort of t uh, texture, and we definitely don't need a jungle sapling or a rose bush on the Statue of Liberty. I don't think they will in real life. You'd find that redstone ore. Not really. That'd be no good. Lime wool, come on now, uh, what do you think, what should we choose, what should we choose, comment below what we should choose, mossy stone brick, now that would be a very good material for the bottom of the Statue of Liberty, so let's get that in, polished andesite slab, not sure about that, we just need a few simple, we don't, definitely don't need a slime ball or some dirt, might need some dirt later on, um, but we'll just choose a few of these things and then we'll get going, right then, so we're Still having a look around. Never, why guys, loads of stuff that you can choose from in Minecraft, and I'm never sure which bits to choose and which not. But we'll get in, we'll get into the world. It's a nice flat world. There's something green and squarey running around in the distance. I've got a feeling that that was some sort of slime block. What, the, what on earth they're going to do to me, I don't know, but I'm going to keep away from them. I'm in creative today. Well, I'm always in creative. I think that was a duck just going under my foot. I hope I didn't step on the duck. Um, we'll make the plinth first of all. So the Statue of Liberty is actually called, in real life, the full name is Liberty Enlightening the World. Now, I bet you didn't know that because I didn't know that until I read it earlier on. And the, um, what you'll find later on as I design and build up the the model you'll see that it's basically a woman holding aloft a torch and she's got a, a robe on and the the female figure actually represents a Roman goddess which um, I found quite fascinating and the the Roman goddess that she uh, represents is called Libertus so that is the reason for the name, the Statue of Liberty, or as I said before, Liberty Enlightening the World. And you'll find the Statue of Liberty slap bang in New York on a little island of all of its own. And it can be seen, um, it can be seen by, you know, ships sailing by. You can visit it, you can climb up it. I mean, if you want to climb up it, you're... Um, you're going to have to go up 354 stairs. So that's quite a lot. It's not as much as the Eiffel Tower the other week, which was, I think, was something like over a thousand steps. So it's not going to be as tiring. There's that green slimy block in the background. Keep away from it. In fact, there's loads of them. It's like, it's full of green slimy blocks. Some baby ones, some big ones. There's that pig. 
but we'll just leave this for If we leave them alone, then I hope that they will leave us alone, but we'll find that out in due course. Right, we'll build up. So you can see me, I've just started sort of building the body with this um, colour, there was a sort of like a green. And the reason it's green is because in real life, the whole Statue of Liberty is actually made out of iron. You can get iron ore in Minecraft, everybody knows that. And what happens to iron over time, it starts, the oxygen in the air starts to affect the iron and the iron starts to go green due to oxidization and although that's a kind of it's kind of a sign of damage i just forwarded on a bit there um you can see the cleats in the dress now in the robe should i say yeah so as i was saying although the green is a sign of damage it's kind of protecting it for further damage so what you're seeing really you you're seeing a damaged um damaged statue but it gives off that gives that green color that everybody um who's seen the statue of liberty knows and loves so there's um so it's kind of like a happy accident or another word for that is serendipity so uh, who designed it not me i didn't design the statue of liberty i'm just doing a representation of it in minecraft i hope you like it i mean i think it's a bit flat i'll try and make it a bit th more 3d this time because i know that i got a few comments about the eiffel tower um being very flat 2d so i'm trying my best here to try and make it a little bit more 3d i'll probably uh, concentrate more on the head later on making that 3d and i was thinking of going for a square head because everything like i say in minecraft seems to be square um we'll work on that so this statue of liberty here you can see this is an arm uh, rising up from the body from the robed figure of libertus 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 the roman goddess of freedom and as the as the uh, the arm goes up you'll see that the arm is holding a torch and uh, from the ground to the top of the torch in real life the the statue measures 93 meters which is a fair amount and the, it weighs about 204 metric tons which is an incredible amount very very heavy now she's so she's holding a torch and also she later on you'll see that I design a, a tablet but that's not quite yet. I'm just going to design the torch for now. Um, so she's told, she, and on on the tablet that she's holding in the other hand, which you'll see in a bit, she's actually holding the um, the American Declar Declaration of Independence, uh, July the fourth, seventeen seventy six. So here we are. We're just going to build the top of the torch up. Yeah, I've speeded it up a little bit just to. You don't want to watch, see every single block going down, that would be boring, you'd be falling asleep. You'd be falling asleep into your cornflakes, or your uh, or, or your milk, or whatever you drink eating at the moment. You'd just go... <coughs> and get it all over your face, and you don't want to do that. So we'll just keep building up. Now that's a torch there. It, it's kind of a torch, I mean... It, yeah, there we go. So if you look back, you can kind of see the, the whole thing taking shape. Obviously, you can't see the head, but we will get to the head and the crown as well, because the Statue of Liberty is a, a statue with a face and a crown on the head, and we're going to get to that any minute. So we'll just keep going with this now. We'll just get it a little bit higher. We'll stand back and see. Now that's again me just fast forwarding putting a few more blocks on here so this is where I'm going to start to design the face um, as I design the face I'm going to tell you a joke are you ready for a joke about the Statue of Liberty what does the Statue of Liberty stand for because she can't sit down <laughs> another one can a kangaroo jump higher than the Statue of Liberty of course the Statue of Liberty can't jump. Not funny, are they? Not funny jokes. Let's just get on with the build. I think I'm better at building than telling jokes. So this bit here is going to be the face. So 
So we just place a few more blocks in here. At the moment, it just looks like she's got a big hole in her face. She's no good. Oh, her nose, we're not really the nose, so smart. Let's take that away. So there's two eyes. You can see two eyes from the back and two eyes from the front. So I'm just going to block that off so that the eyes go dark. And I'm going to try and turn this head into a cube. So, just have a think about this now. Um, yeah, we need to sort of have a crown. Because the Statue of Liberty, of course, has a crown on her head. So it's important to get the crown in. We can't miss the crown off, out. And in real life, the crown actually has 25 windows in it. So you can go up there and have a look out, I think. I've never been to New York. I'd like to go there. Um, if anybody wants to give me some tickets to go to New York, I'll be very happy to take them. And I'll go there and I'll look at the Statue of Liberty. I'll see if it looks anything like my Minecraft uh, depiction of it. Now this here, what I'm doing here is this sort of like some... Um, mm, what, what would you call them now? Spikes. So on the real uh, Statue of Liberty, they have... It's got seven spikes sticking out of the crown. Mine, I don't think I'm going to put seven spikes on mine. I think I'll put uh, four, five, six, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how many I can get fit on. It's always a bit different in Minecraft. But the spikes themselves in, in real life, they represent the seven oceans and the seven continents of the world. And again, I only know that from reading up on it earlier on. And something I need to tell you, I need to mention, I, I mentioned earlier that it was an iron structure. It is an iron structure, but it has a copper exterior, and it's the copper that oxidizes and turns green. So I've been corrected. Um, so it's not the iron, the iron doesn't turn green, it's the copper that's uh, coating the iron, which also, as I said before, forms a protection, protective barrier. Now it's coming on quite well, this uh, Statue of Liberty. I'm going to give it a big square head. So uh, so here we are. We're at, I think we're at the back of the head now. Um, yeah, so we're going to put some more of these spikes on the head. So remember these spikes represent the different uh, con continents in the world, in the oceans. Oh, they don't look much like continents, though, do they? They just look like sort of diagonal spikes in any old sort of haphazard uh, direction but if I can stop making mistakes oh no, no these, I'm not making mistakes I'm just uh, using some of the blocks to build off because you can't build diagonally in, uh, in in Minecraft unfortunately right guys if you like this video like and like unsubscribe and comment below you've got a comment below I've only got 13 subscribers so to have I'm, I'm aiming at getting 14 subscribers by the end of this video or even 15 I think I can push 15 I know Teddy Troller he's a big influence on me and he wants to subscribe and I've also got a shout out to um, one of one of my fans who watched one of my videos and he said he'd actually said to me that um, my last video on my last video yes it was Steven Stepper on one of my videos said to me that I should try and make the, the builds a little bit more three-dimensional which I've tried to do on this look at that I'm stepping back you see all the slimes knocking about now I, pre I think that's a pretty good uh, re representation of the Statue of Liberty or the Liberty enlightening the world I've just got to put the tablet in there I'll just do that out of a dirt block just pop that in there just to finish it off now if you go back, stand up. Now what did happen after I'd created my Statue of Liberty is I went to bed and then my kids got up the next morning about seven o'clock and they started redesigning bits and this is the result. So the next morning I came in to find this. <sighs> ah, smoke! Lots of smoke at the bottom and they even put a little, um, what are they called? Like an enchantment table with an enchanted book at the bottom. Look at this. I was quite touched by this. The best build you have ever built from William, Gabriel and Oliver. Gabriel is Teddy Troller, who also has a really good online YouTube channel. Now, if you like this video, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you next time. Look, they've even given me some diamonds and, what is it, soul campfire, and all kinds of things in there. 
And uh, oh yeah, before we go, we'll just start, we'll take a journey up towards the top of the Statue of Liberty. So past the smoke, which kind of sets it off nicely, up the arm, and then right at the top, let's look at this guys. Now this is cool. It's actually like a fire. So I think William put campfires around there to make it look like the torch was a light. So again, if you like this, subscribe, and I will see you next time on Daddy Gamer.